Reconstructed Skin Micronucleus Assay Day 1. Receipt of Tissues On day 1, skin models are received from MatTech after being shipped at 4 degrees C. Tissues are carefully unpacked in a laminar flow hood to reduce the risk of microbial contamination. Tissues are received in a 24-well plate embedded in agar. Tissues are visually inspected for obvious defects and excess liquid is removed gently by sterile cotton buds. Liquid on the tissue surface can inhibit gas exchange to live cells and reduce tissue health and viability. 900 microliters of warm sterile new maintenance medium included in the kit is added to each well of a six well plate. For a batch of 24 models, four six well plates are required for one well per model. Using tweezers or forceps, each tissue is removed from the agar via a twisting motion. Excess agar is dabbed off using sterile gauze. The tissue within the tissue cup is then placed at an angle into the medium. This prevents the formation of air bubbles underneath the model, which prevents incomplete feeding of the live basal cells. Tissues are then stored at 37 degrees C. Day 2 and 3, treatment of tissues with a test article. Medium is inspected under the microscope for microbial contamination. Medium is replenished with fresh medium containing cytoclasin B. A positive displacement pipette is used to administer the test article on the topical surface of the tissue. This enables the pipetting of acetone, which all test articles must be delivered in, as this will evaporate off the tissue surface. Ten microliters of test article is sufficient to treat the, chem uh, the tissues topically. Day four, tissue harvest for micronucleus analysis. Five millilitres of Dalbeco's phosphate buffered saline is added to three wells of a 12 well plate. Tissues are removed from the culture plate, excess medium is dabbed off and tissues are then lowered at an angle into the 5 millilitres DPBS. Tissues remain in the DPBS wash for five minutes. Each tissue is then removed from the DPBS. Excess liquid is blotted and the tissues are lowered into the second wash of EDTA. Tissues are then transferred to trypsin EDTA for 15 minutes to individualise cells. Following incubation in trypsin EDTA, the stratum corneum is removed from the tissue cup using forceps. This is then placed in a well containing one milliliter of trypsin EDTA.
using a pipette. The tissue cup is then washed in trypsin EDTA to remove any cells that remain within the cup. The stratum corneum in the well is then washed thoroughly to individualize cells. Following this step, a cell suspension should be generated. The cell suspension is then transferred to a centrifuge tube containing one milliliter of trypsin neutralizing solution or DMEM containing FBS. The stratum corneum should be the only thing that remains in the final well. Cells are then treated with potassium chloride, fixed in methanol and acetic acid and taken forward to micronucleus analysis.